Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2 25 from RC Hibbeler Engineering Static Torque Addition. According to this problem, two forces F1 and F2 act on the screw I. If the lines of action are at an angle theta apart, and the magnitude of each force is F1 is equal to F2 is equal to F. Determine the magnitude of the resultant force FR and the angle between FR and F1. We will solve this problem by using the parallelogram law of vector addition. For that I have to draw the projections of the forces F1 and F2. So first of all we have to draw the projection of the force F1 like this sorry this is the projection of the force F2 and this right here is the projection of the force F1 now resultant is drawn from the tails of the two vectors to the opposite end This is FR. This complete angle right here is also theta. Let's say this angle is beta. And this angle right here is also beta. And the angle between the forces FR and F1, let's call this alpha. So what we have to find is we have to find alpha and the resultant force, the magnitude of the resultant force. Now let's find the expression for the angle beta. So for beta, we know that the sum of the integer angles of a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degrees. So we have beta is equal to 360 degrees minus 2 theta divided by 2. So from here beta is equal to 180 degrees minus theta. Now for the force FR, I can apply a cosine law here. So I have FR is equal to square root of F1 squared plus F2 squared minus 2 into F1 F2 cos theta. Now since F1 is equal to F2 is equal to F and beta is equal to 180 degrees minus theta. So I can write FR as square root of f square plus f square minus 2 f square cos 180 degrees minus theta and we also know that cos 180 degrees minus theta is equal to negative cos theta so upon simplification f r is equal to 2f squared minus 2f squared into negative cos theta. So we have 2f squared plus 2f squared cos theta. If I take out 2f squared common, then I have 1 plus cos theta and the square root. Now, I can see that I can use one more identity for the cos theta which is the half angle identity. So if I divide both sides, let's call this equation A, both sides equation a by square root of 2 then I have fr 
divided by root 2 is equals to 2 f squared 1 plus cos theta divided by root 2 Now I can write it as fr is equals to root 2 f square into root 1 plus cos theta divided by root 2 and I have further root 2 f into 1 plus cos theta divided by 2. Now I know that one plus cos theta divided by two and the square root is equals to cos theta by two. Now I can replace it as cos theta by two, but before that I have right here fr and the root two. So upon further simplification, I have root two into root two into f into cos theta by two. So I have 2f cos theta upon 2 as the magnitude of the force fr, the resultant force. So this is our first answer. Now we have to find the angle between the force fr and the force f1. So if we go back to our, to our diagram. Then we have, if I zoom in, then we can formulate some equations to find this angle alpha. For example, we know that if I remove it, let's call this angle right here alpha dash, and I know that alpha plus alpha dash is equal to theta. This angle right here is also alpha dash because they are alternate angles. So what I can do here is this is the projection of the force vector F2 and this is the projection of the force vector F1. So if I write a sine law then I have sine alpha over f2 is equals to sine alpha dash upon f1. Now again f1 is equals to f2 is equals to f so we have sine alpha upon f is equals to sine alpha dash upon f and we have Upon taking sine inverse on both sides, taking sine inverse on both sides, I have alpha is equals to alpha dash and we know that alpha is equals to alpha dash which in terms is equals to theta minus alpha from this expression. So, theta is equals to 2 alpha and alpha is equals to theta by 2. This is the answer for the angle between the resultant force and the force F1. This is our second answer. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question or any doubt about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.